What's up, what's up, what's up, boys and girls? My name is Plan Powers, and this is What Comes After. From the creators of Coffee Talk comes a short experience, a heartwarming story, and a love letter to all of you who think you're a burden for other people. This is going to be a very charming little game, and I can't wait to jump right into it. So let's go. Ah, made it right on time. I'm sorry, I keep bumping the microphone here. One second. Huh? Well, the last train, it's not that crowded here. I might be able to find a seat today. Oh, so... Old shift to walk faster. Weekend is coming. Time to play what? Sorry? So this is a side-scrolling, very short experience. What? What is that? Do you repeat that, sir, please? Weekend is coming, yep. Time to play games all day and all night. <laughs> nice. That's exactly how my weekends go. Hmm, should I watch it? Should I watch it at home? Huh? Hey, hey, hey! Come on, come on, come on. Baby! Is he singing? Everyone is on their phone, obviously. As in every train. No, I forgot to feed my cat this morning. For real? How did she react? She said no, of course. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. Are they twins? I always have this cozy something about riding the last train. City at night, beautiful. Hey, what happened to your car? You keep going home by train lately. Uh, I sold it. What? Why? So I can go home with you every day. Oh. Player must stay awake. Ah, oh, she probably had a early start today. Alright, let's keep exploring the rest of the train, shall we? Wait. Butter, milk, eggs. What else do I need to buy? Is this the same? Even though I'm home so late, my grandkids are always waiting for me before they go to bed. Kids are blessings. Oh. So I have how have you been? You don't want to know. Oh, what's this here? Oh my, I'm so tired. Why do I have to rush anyway? It's not like anyone at home cares. And there's nothing to do either. I shouldn't think about it so much. Yeah, I should. And she's out cold. Alright, so from the looks of it, we just finished... What the hell? Ghost cat. Huh? Huh? Did I overslept? Oh my god. Oh my god. Am I locked in? Oh no! What should I do? 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 Relax, relax, relax. I should relax. Take a deep breath. Okay. I'm just locked up. There's nothing to worry about. I just need to... What the hell? Why is the train moving? What's happening? Ugh. Relax, Vivi. Relax. Still just a train. I mean, if a cat was here, I assume this is a pretty safe place, right? Let's not overthink things. I should be able to find a driver here. Um, uh, driver? Is that how you call someone who control the train? Are they driving the train? Wait, focus, baby. Focus. Okay, so obviously we were overslept a bit, so the... N no one is on the train. Obviously I had a very exhausting, exhaustive day. Couldn't handle anymore. Uh, what the frick? All the passengers are ghosts. 
What is this? Ghost train. What are these people? Are they? Are they who I think they are? Wait. Does it mean I... I have died? That's... This... This doesn't feel as bad as I thought it would be. I mean... It didn't hurt. Or did I just forget about the pain? Anyway... If this is really is the afterlife, I can consider myself lucky. I didn't feel pain. It cost me nothing. And I've been considering it for a while... Oh, oh, for a while anyway. You won the jackpot, Vivi. Jesus, that's how you look at it. Damn. Wait. If I really died... Mom will be sad. Oh no! I don't want that. And if... And if... And if I died inside the train... Then the cleaning guy would have to handle my dead body. Oh, he will have a bad day because of me. Then... Then... Whoever sat next to me on the train... Would find the entire experience traumatic. Someone died next to them. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! What should I do? No. I guess there's nothing I could do about it. Oh, is that the uh, controller? Huh? That lady looks like someone who works here. I bet she knows where this train is heading. Let's ask her. Look at the way she walks as well. Very, very shy girl. Her first thoughts after she died was, how am I going to bother the, the people, right? How is my death going to upset other people? Not that she's actually dead, she doesn't care about that. She was actually quite too fond of being dead. Excuse me. Wait, one moment. What by one, please? Your turn will... Oh, not this again. Another living being on board. What are you doing here, kid? I... Actually, I don't know why I'm here. You what? Oh, the humans failed to do their job again. I have but one request. One. For them to make sure the train is empty at night. Wait. Maybe it's not the humans. Maybe it's them? But why? What are they trying to achieve? Uh, ma'am? Excuse me? Can you, can you tell me where this train is heading? Well, as you can see around you, that people board this train. Yes, I kinda noticed that. To be precise, this train is boarded with beings who died in the proximity of 10 kilometers from the st station today. Uh, okay, no wonder it's not that crowded. But where are they going? To what comes after, of course. What comes after? Yes, what comes after. No more explanation for the living. Am I going there too? Of course not. I will never allow that. The living should never cross when it's not their time. But I think I saw a cat just now. The cat that was walked past? Honey, she's also dead. So far, you're the only not dead creature here. Then what should I do? Back to the living, of course. I can do that? I didn't even notice she was wearing a mask. It's become... <laughs> it's become so... Like, second nature now. I didn't even notice the game character had a mask. <laughs> Lol. Yes, uh, we will take you back. Really? Thank you so much. But... Huh? I can't simply ask the train to return now. So you'll have to wait until tonight's group reach their destination. And then we'll go back to the train station together. That doesn't sound too bad. How long will it take? Don't worry. We'll finish the trip before the morning comes. But what am I supposed to do in, in the meantime? Beats me. You could just wait in the car you just came from. Or, you know, walk around. 
but you get to know the folks around you. They always have some stories to tell. And maybe, just maybe, you can help them with something. Or they can help you with something. Help me with something? Honey, come on now. I've been around long enough to notice that you're not complete. Perhaps you'll learn a thing or two here. Anyway, I have to work. The list won't fill itself. Getting to know these ghosts, huh? So what should I do? I can't just return to the car I woke up in wait. Or should I walk around? I guess. Oh, this guy has something to say. Huh? Hey, are you a ghost? N no I think you are. Ah, so I'm truly dead. I see. Thank you. Uh, okay, you're welcome, I guess. I hope I have some... I have done enough good in life. Make it worthwhile, you know? I'm sure you did great. Huh. How do you know that, kiddo? Because you think like that. Thank you. You are a good kid. Alive and healthy, too. Should you really be here? I shouldn't. Yeah, there's been a mistake. I see. I'm glad the mistake happened. Why? You got to be my brief companion. Company. It is a pleasant company. Oh. Thank you so much. I don't hear that quite often. It's good that I said say it then. See, even after you, your death, you still do good to others. Yeah, I cram it in before the judgment day, right? <laughs> right, yeah, I guess. Uh, excuse me. Oh, walk around, I'm busy. Okay. This one okay? Uh -huh. I was so close to promotion. Work has been going well. And the cute guy from accounting has been responding to my advances too. Why now, all of the time, of all time? Um, are you okay? I will be. For now, please leave me alone. I want to grieve the loss of my fleeting youth. Oh, okay. Everyone in this car seems rather young though. And in this one as well. Hey. Are you in charge of this train? N no. Put me through. You have no idea what I'm capable of. I got money. I can buy this whole train. I want to turn back. I I don't think that's how it works. Now! Uh, I must get going. I'm sorry. What is this uh, tab here? Oh, this is just the... Um... Okay, cool. The transcript. You ever heard those generic stories about how we should spend more time with our family before we die? I used to laugh at them, but now I can't stop thinking about my family and the time I won't be able to spend with them anymore. Ah, Jesus, that is heavy. Hey. To think that I just wasted my life to make someone, somebody else richer. Life is often unfair like that. Here, here. Well, at least death seems way fairer than life. How are you so sure? Humans don't run this one little girl. Nothing and no one to mess it up. That's a bleak outlook to our human fellows. What, are you one of those optimists? No. Quite the opposite, really. I'm just humoring you. Good. I mean, I don't get to be positive when I was alive. So now, let me have a piece of hope. A hope that whatever entity running this show is fair and just, unlike the clowns I used to work for. What if the judgement is fair but you don't like the outcome? You mean if I got thrown into hell or whatever? Or whatever is quite the... is the equivalent. Um, I don't think I did much good in life so that's possible. But if that means people more evil and cruel than me got what they deserve too, I think it's worth it. Then I hope what awaits is something you deserve. That sounds like a threat. Sorry. I'll be going now. Everyone has a story to tell? Okay. I will finally be able to meet my wife again. Life without her was very difficult. I'm sorry to hear that. 
No, it's okay, kids. I'm here now, am I not? I waited for 10 years. I can wait for another train ride. Um, I'm sorry. But you seem so sure you will reunite with her. No one else here seems so sure. Faith is all I have. You're still young. And you still have your life ahead of you, from the look of it. The longer you live, the more faith and belief triumphs. I don't think I understand, sir. I'm sorry. Don't think too much of it. Live your life as you see fit. And cherish the good people around you. I... I will. Thank you. I, I'm liking the... Uh, the life outlook of this game so far. You know, when they talked about seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, I didn't expect it to be this literal. <laughs> I... I used to love romantic comedy movies, you know? Most of them are about a boy or a girl looking and chasing after someone they love. And when they finally are together, that's it. Happy ending. As if getting together is the end of the journey. It's not. And I learned about it the hard way. What happened? The usual, you know. Things were great at the beginning, until they don't. And when that happens, it will affect you emotionally, and sometimes even physically. Oh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> it's too late. Looking back now, I shouldn't have drowned my sorrow with those drinks. There are better ways, ways that won't end my life and ruin the people around me. I'm sorry for venting it out a bit on at you. Um, no, it's alright. I don't really know who you are, but don't make the same mistakes I did. There will always be a better solution to whatever problems you're facing. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. You. Why do you think the means to transport the dead take form as a train? Uh huh? I don't. There are several mentions of varied methods of transportation to the underworld in mythology. A train is certainly a fresh, modern interpretation of them. Is it developing along the humanity's technological growth? What are the theological and metaphysical implications of the importance of humanity in with this? Um, sorry, I must be rambling by myself again. You don't need to answer that. I'm just saying what's on my mind. I should write an article about this as soon as I got... Ah, wait. I'm dead. I'm sorry about that. You can ramble to me about it if you like. You're so kind, but I'm afraid I will bore you. You're the living kid they talked about, aren't you? It is possible for you to bring this observation to my colleagues once you go back? Will they believe me? Yeah. No, I suppose they don't. They won't. How unfortunate. Oh, there's a little kid here. Hello. If this is truly the afterlife, I hope my mom is waiting at the end. Having to go alone is scary. Are you afraid? A little bit. But mom said she will be waiting for me. In a dream. You didn't... I mean... Ah, no. I didn't purposefully try to go after my mom. If that's what you're implying. The doctor said it's Heidi had it her... Hereditary? Hereditary? What? Hereditary. Yeah, that. <laughs> she said it means we suffer from the same illness. I feel sorry for my mom. It really hurts. I suppose it's good that she went first. Less pain for her. I'm very sorry, little kids. Why? It's not your fault we were ill. Well, yeah. It's over now, anyway. I don't feel any pain anymore, and neither does my mom. So don't worry about it, auntie. Auntie? I'm not that old. But never mind that. Will you be okay alone? Yeah. And your journey is not yet o not yet over, auntie. Good luck. Is this the mom? They're probably not. Yo. Hey, do you suppose I still have a chance to haunt my ex? <laughs> probably. Pardon? My ex. You think I can ask to turn around and give him one last surprise? Uh, why do you want to haunt him? He made my life a living hell. This is my only chance for payback. Um... 
I don't know what you... I know what you're going to say. I should forgive and let go. Maybe? But I don't know how your ex was has wronged you. So it'll be presumptuous of me to tell you off. Ha! Huh. It's okay. You didn't say it, but I know deep down that it's true. I need to let go. Holding grudges isn't healthy. You're dead, though. No such thing as healthy on or unhealthy. Girl, are you telling me to be a vengeful ghost? That's not what I said. Ah, I know. I'm just messing with you. My last chance to mess with someone alive, I guess. Huh? This part of the train looks different. It's a dining car. I don't think dining car exists on the local commuter. Oh, who am I kidding? As if logic and city transportation plan apply here. Um, hello? Leave me alone, kid. Okay. Ah, well. He got me at last. At least I die a martyr. And if I'm lucky, he will go to jail. I'm sorry, but I'm so curious. Huh. Some people live a life full of vengeance, kids. Don't be like me, or him. Will I hear the detail of this? Nope. Because I'm not sure what I want to know. Good call. I was hanging on, you know. Thought my dad would like to see me wake up healthy one day. But there is the point of no return. And he told me to let go if I have to. So, I let go. Your dad loves you, you know. He doesn't want you to hurting any longer. Maybe so. But I can't let go of the thoughts that he gave up on me. Please don't think that way. Was he loving when you, you were alive? Very much. Then I have no doubt it's hard for him to let go of you too. He just wanted you to stop hurting. I guess. Thank you. It helps to hear it from someone else. Especially someone still so full of life. Am I? Yes. Maybe you think you have one foot in the grave already. But more than anyone, you want to be alive. You walk away from this conversation with much to think about. Yeah. And I wish you luck. You too, buddy. Um... No one's at the bar. Well, it's a death train anyway. Who would need food and drink here? So why is there a bar in the first place, though? Hi. To witness your child's death is the worst thing. Ten years of living through that. Now... Now is peace. I'm sorry to hear that. Perhaps they will be waiting on the other side. I'm sh I sure hope so. I miss him. Huh? Oh, you're barely alive, girl. Barely a alive? Uh, you know. Not here, not there. They have been talking about you. Um... Listen. A piece of advice from one dead person. You had to choose, choose life. It's much more worth it. I know things might seem hard and it sounds easier to just let go. But this is only the one thing you can't get back. Better enjoy it while you can. I know I would. Thank you. Some great advice here from the uh, ghosts of this train. Hey. Hi there. You look different from us. Um, yeah, I'm not really, you know, dead. Oh, you are the little girl they are whispering about. Are they? Yes. I heard they are going to take you home. After they take us to what comes after. When you do get back home, please live your life to the fullest. You'll never appreciate what you have until you lose it. I, I'll try, thanks. Oh no, baby! Oh my, I'm not prepared for this. Hello, miss. Oh my god, sweetie. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. What are you sorry for, miss? You did nothing wrong. I'm so young. I noticed that too. How can he talk, though? He's still in diapers. There's nothing I can do about it anyway. 
But how can you speak normally like adults? Miss, you're inside the train that takes people to the afterlife. And the thing you wondered about was how... <laughs> yeah. How I can talk to you? Adults are weird. You're right. Still feels weird though. Don't worry. You'll be surprised by how well you can understand what everyone says on this train. But you might not understand what they mean. Okay. You've talked with the other passengers here? I did. Some of them have the same reaction as you had. No surprises there. Death comes to everyone. Why would they be surprised? That's deep for a baby. Miss, don't underestimate babies. For all we know, the adults are the ones that always fail to understand us. That's... a really good point. I know. Anyway, they might be surprised because... Um... I guess they just feel sad about you. That everyone dies here. Except for you, of course. They should focus more on being sad for themselves. Or the people they left behind. Do you feel sad about the people you left behind? Me? Maybe. I haven't really got the chance to know them. So it's hard to know for sure. Besides, judging from some of the passages here, this world doesn't seem like a pretty place, pretty nice place to live. Uh-huh. I guess you dodged a bullet there. <laughs> That's not a nice way to say it. Don't tell me. Did you die because of a shooting? No. Oof. I shouldn't make any death-related pun here. You find life to be difficult, miss? Uh, me? I don't know. I guess, yeah. It's not easy. But that was on me. It's my fault that my life was hard. Why is that? Huh? What do you mean? Why do you think it's your fault? I... I don't know. Oh, I know. Somebody must have told you that. And you can't stop thinking about it. No. No one ever said that to me. Whoa. Then why? I'm not even sure myself. You are weird, miss. You sound like my parents. They keep apologizing to me. Even after I left my body. They did their best. What is it to be sorry for? Yeah, adults think too much. We think about things that are beyond our capabilities. What's a waste of energy? You can spend the time and energy to choose which toys you'll play with. Or which cartoon you'll watch. And yet adults choose to spend their energy and times in their heads. In our heads? Yeah. There is no monster in front of you. Why do you put one inside your head? You wouldn't understand, I guess. And that's a great thing. At least you don't have to go through all of these. Maybe you're right. But you have to realize, I'm missing a lot. From the stories people told me here, it seems like life is something worth living. It's hard, but it's full of wonder. At least that's what some of the other folks here told me. I'll never know. I'll never know the ending to that story about seven dwarfs. Because Dad hasn't got the chance to finish reading them. I'll never know how steak, steak tastes like. I can only smell and see them. I don't have my teeth yet, you see. I'll never know how school feels like. Though I've learned so much only by laying down on the hospital beds. There are so many things I'll never experience. But I guess that's alright. How? How can he be so content? What is content? What is it? Well, it's a feeling of peace, I guess. You have such a peaceful mind for someone who just died so young. I am dead, yes. Which means there's nothing I could do. Why should I think about it? Yeah, that's right. Miss, you don't have to compare yourself to me, you know. I know so little. That's why I don't really think things too much. You're not me. You know more. You have been through more things too. So please just think and go at your own pace. Yes, you're right. I won't be able to be as content as you, but I can try. Even if I failed, that's alright. I can try again. 
while eating steaks and watching many adaptations of Snow White. Now you're just trying to make me jealous, miss. <laughs> I'm sorry. Couldn't resist. That's alright. At least I can see you laugh. Apparently one still experience something new, even after death. Anyway, I want to talk to more people here. It's the only way for me to learn more about the world anyway. So, goodbye miss. Take care, kids. Never seen such a wise baby in my lifetime. I guess uh, I haven't lived long enough yet, maybe. Welcome, lady. You talk. Of course, I'm an owl. Although everyone can communicate with each other here. So it's not a surprise. Why are you here, Mr. Owl? What happens? I'm here because it's my time to be here. Whoa, you're wise. I'm an owl, yes. I guess you know what happened to you. And where you were going right now. I do. I did say I'm an owl, right? I don't really get what you mean. But I get the stories are true. The owl is one of the wisest creatures out there. Not all of us, but pretty much. Care to share some wisdom with me? I'm wise, yes. But to answer your question, I can't. Your wisdom is something for you to find out yourself. Not sure I can do that. You can. And you have to, in order to survive. Gosh, thank you for your wisdom, Mr. Owl. It's not like I needed more pressure in life. That's not wisdom. That's just a fact. And you'll be able to handle it. That's also a fact. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Owl. The pleasure was mine. Anyway, you should explore this place a bit more, lady. Are you kicking me out? Yes. Ouch! Okay, okay. I was planning to talk to the others anyway. I'm sure you'll learn a lot on this train. It was nice talking to you. Same goes for me, Mr. Owl. As a cat, a dog, a monkey... I'm finally free from those humans. But I kinda miss them. A bit. You should be more honest with your feelings, cat. What are you talking about? You love them, right? Well, I love them enough. You shouldn't put too much love on someone, you know? You can only do that for yourself. Of course, that's what a cat would say. Huh? As if there are other ways to think. Now, will you please let me rest? At least I can sleep peacefully on this train. Bill wants to sleep even after... <laughs> his life. It's been years, woof. I hope I can finally meet my human again. You didn't leave with your other humans? At your home? I only have one human. And our home is the whole city. Our roof is the sky. They were beautiful. But it got cold sometimes. Oh. Your human. They go away before you? Yes. I didn't know what happens. But suddenly, it just didn't move. I'm sorry to hear that. You've been alone since then? Yes. But other humans were kind to me. Sometimes they give me food. Some even allow me to sleep under their roof. But not inside. Hmm. Seems like you live in a pretty kind neighborhood. Not everyone was kind to me. Some were pretty mean. But I'm sure they have their own reasons. Dog? Yes? Nothing. I'm sure your human is waiting for you. Really? I believe so. Woof! I can't wait to see my human. They said curiosity kills the cat. Then why am I here? <laughs> what happened to you? I was curious. Didn't you hear me just now? Curious George, eh? I... I did. I'm sorry. It's okay. Curiosity really takes you to places you don't expect, huh? Indeed. Mima! Where am I? Where am I? Meow! Oh my. Itty cats, are you by yourself? Yes. Do you know where my Mima is? Or where am I? I don't have the answer for both, I'm sorry. But you're going somewhere fun. I assure you that. Really? I'm sad I can't meet my Mimo. 
but I also can't wait to play at my new home. You'll have fun, kitten. And this is an old dog, I guess. Woof, where are where are they taking me? My master must be worried. Did you remember where you were before you got here? Yes, I was at home with my family. My human family, that is. What happened there? I don't know. All I remember was they were crying. And I was in pain. But seeing them cry hurt me even more. So I tried to cheer them up. But I didn't have the energy. I tried to use all the energies I have left to bark. And suddenly, I'm here. They must be worried sick. I don't think so. Woof, why? Do you think they don't love me anymore? Of course not. They cried for you. They loved you. But I'm sure they know you're in a better place now. Or at least on the way to a better place. But there's no better place than other than home. With my humans. Oh, dog. You love them a lot, huh? What do you mean? Is there anything beyond loving one's family? There probably is, but not for you. Anyway, you don't have to worry, okay? You're going to a better place. You can wait for your humans in peace there. They're coming too? Yes, maybe not soon, but yeah, they're coming for you. Woof, woof, woof. I will wait however long it takes for my humans, woof. And th those stories of dogs waiting for people, like, at the train stops and everywhere, it's, they are so sad. It breaks my heart every time. Uh, what is this place? It feels like a forest. Inside the train. Just when I thought this place couldn't get any weirder. Hey, you! Huh? Who's there? I'm here! I don't see anyone. Seriously, human? You're standing among so many plants. And you say... And you sense you see no one? Typical humans. Wait. Are you... Yes, I'm standing next to you now. Holy... I'm speaking to a plant. Oh, God. Of course that's how a living human would react. Um... I'm sorry. It's just that I never imagined that I would be able to speak to plants. Yeah, yeah. You people studied about us, even considered us as fellow living beings. And yet, you're surprised about us being able to communicate. Oh, no, I'm truly sorry. Pfft. You're sorry. Sure. Anyway, I just want to say hi to the only thing on board. So, yeah. Hi! Hello. Um... What should I call you? Call? Oh, you mean name? Call me whatever you like. Our kinds never need a name anyway. Alright then. Can I call you Tiny? Seriously, human? Out of all the creative names you can give me, you chose such an offensive name to describe my size? Oh my, oh my. I am... I'm sorry. Whatever. You can call me Tiny. Really? Thank you, Tiny. Uh, I bet you call your pet generic name too, like Kitty or something. Huh? What did you just say? Nothing. So, what's your name? Me? My name is Vivi. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, yeah. So, you lost? Uh, not really. I mean, yes, I was lost. But at least that said they can't take me home. Now I'm just walking around while killing time. Whoa, girl! Don't talk about killing time things on this train. Oh my! I was a slip of the tongue. Anyway, how's the ride so far? Well, it's been very eye-opening. Deep down, I still believe this might be a dream. Nah, it's not. It's real. Oh, well, either way is fine with me. Yeah, you just gotta enjoy the ride. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I won't hold you any longer. You should use your time well here. Talk to everyone, maybe. 
and be nicer to plants on once you return. Will do. See you later, Tiny. It's been a pleasure. Oh, this. Okay, I skipped someone. Hold up. Psst, bruh. Seems like that girl is staring at us. Hush, don't be loud. You might hear us. But they don't understand our language. Um. I can hear and understand you just fine. Whoa. Is she talking to us? No way. Humans don't even notice our existence until they are hungry. If she noticed us, it means she's going to eat us soon. Sorry again. I'm not trying to eat you or anything. She's human. She must be lying. Just pretend we won't hear whatever she says. Maybe she'll ignore us too. All right, all right. Don't want me around. I'm leaving. Bro, she said she is leaving. But why is she still here? I don't know, bro. <laughs> they really hate humans, huh? Alright, fine. Just leave the mushrooms be. Are you avoiding me? Oh, you are talking to me? Of course. Why are you so surprised? It's not every day somebody wanted to talk to me. What is that? I'm just a normal tree? With nothing to talk about. Nothing? I can talk about photosynthesis, considering that I've been doing it my whole life. Other than that, even speaking with you now gives me anxiety. I wanted to say you should be more confident in your life, but then I remember that I no longer live. Yes. All the more reason to not feel anxious, right? You're right. Don't think about it too much, though. I also still struggle with that from time to time. I guess no matter what the circumstance is, everyone has something in common. That's right. As a ghost moves here, being in the middle of the food chain sucks. Hey, Mr. Deer. Oh, it's a deer, not a moose, sorry. Did a predator catch you? A human? Pardon me. Yes, you were right. I'm sorry to hear that. It's alright. Still suck, but it's okay. That tiger also has a family to feed. It's a law of nature. You didn't hold any grudge? I'd do the same if I was a tiger. And I hear and I heard there won't be any bloodshed at the place we are going. How did you know? I'm a deer. We know. I wanted to ask more. But it seems like it's not my place to ask. You'll know one day. When your time has come. And if you deserve the knowledge, you should keep that in mind. I will. Thanks, dear. Oh, what a beautiful flower. Thank you. Even though this is not my prettiest form. Oh, you can grow to be more beautiful? Yes. But humans are impatient. Somebody plucked me from my roots before I got the chance to grow. I'm sorry to hear that. Are you that kind of human lady? The ones that use my kinds to find love and breed more humans on Earth? No. Oh my, I would never think of doing that. But other humans would. Yeah. They. We would. Why did your people love to do that? I don't know the answer to that. I'm sorry. Don't say sorry all the time. I was just asking questions, you know. But still, you're here because of us. True. But just so you know, it's not like we flowers don't like to be appreciated. We love to be considered as a beautiful gift. But we'd prefer if humans don't just pluck us out before our time. I'll keep that in mind. I can't change everyone, or undo what has been done, but at least I can change myself and those around me, so we can be more mindful of your kinds. That sounds good. Besides, how do you expect to find love if you can't even wait for a flower to fully bloom? Good point. Alright, this is feel this is making me feel bad for being a vegan. Damn it. <laughs> Sis, 
Why is she staring at us? Psst. Don't say anything. Pretend we can't talk and she'll just walk away. Okay. Mushrooms are mean. <laughs> Whoa! A giraffe? What are you doing here on the train from the city? Pretty sure there's no wild giraffe around here. That's because I'm not wild. I lived in a zoo nearby. Oh, did something happen at the zoo? No. I was just sick, that's all. I'm sorry to hear that. You don't have to. It was a sweet release. I didn't mind it at all. How does it feel to live in a zoo? That's a difficult question to answer. I've been living in a zoo since I was born. So I don't really have any comparison. Oh, okay. I don't want to disturb you any longer then. Enjoy the rest of your ride, Mr. Giraffe. Thank you, human. I bet it was pretty difficult to live in a zoo. Freaking hate zoos. For the captivity of the animals. Yeah, they do some like... Um, what's it called? Protecting the dangerous species work, but uh, like conservation work. But uh, most of the zoos are just for human pleasure and they just have animals in captivity, which fucking pisses me off. Whoa! <laughs> Surprised to see an exotic plant like me? Of course. You don't seem too surprised to see what that's I'm surprised? Girl, I'm exotic. This happens all the time. Well, I mean, it's not every day. People can see a plant like you around here. How did you end up in the city, by the way? Collection? Excuse me? I'm part of a collection. Owned by someone who loves gardening a bit too much. He has his own botanical garden for plants like me. Well, considering the area, I'm not surprised a rich person with such a peculiar hobby lives around here. Yep. Even then, I'm still considered as one of the, his most prized possessions, you know? If you don't mind me asking, why are you here? No special reason. My time has come. That's all. And you don't have uh, problems with that? Girl, everything that lives must die. No one lives forever. I lived a happy life. What's more to ask? I wonder what constitutes a happy life for plants. We all have different definitions of that. For me, simply being taken care of is enough. I'm glad you got an experience to experience a good life. Oh, trust me, I feel the same. And good for her. Y human? What do you want with me? I oh, I'm sorry. Wait. You're different. You're not like them. Them? The other humans I have to deal with when I was alive. What makes you think so? You don't make me feel threatened. Oh. You do live with bad people? That would be an understatement. They killed my parents. Took their tusks. Then took me to where your people live. To be an entertainment. To take your people around the same path. Every single day. Oh, my. I'm so sorry to hear that. I thought they're not allowed to do that in the zoo. Zoo? That's the place where humans watch other animals, right? Yes. Oh, I wish I lived there. But no. I had to live somewhere else. Every day was a hell. I finally reached my limit. And I'm glad it's all over now. I'm so, so, so sorry, elephants. You don't have to. What you have to do is to not be like them, to not support them, and that's enough for us. If you can do more, that would mean a lot for my kind. I'm not sure how I can help, but I can try. At least people need to know. Hopefully that will push some changes. Thank you for even thinking of that human. It's the least I can do. That's more than enough. When I got into this train, I was glad that I don't need to endure any longer. I can finally meet my parents again. For our time back then was short, but now I feel more than just glad. I hope all the good things in life for you. Thanks. But I have to earn those wishes. It's a thought that counts. But I'd love to see you try from above. Wish me luck. That was a nice elephant. Sad that people rode him till he died, though. So. 
A swing? What's a weird place to have a swing? Huh? What? A lively soul. Not too shiny, but lively nonetheless. I must be the luckiest tree to be graced with a lively soul. Even after mine left the world. You talked too, but in a very different way. And what's so different about the way I talk, young girl? You sound real? Like somehow I'm not as surprised to hear you talk compared to the other passengers here. Ho ho ho, I'll take that as a compliment then. So what brings you here, young one? Oh, I was just wandering around, waiting for this train to reach its destination. And then they'll take me home. I wasn't ask talking as <laughs> asking about that dear. What brings you to this train? Huh? I don't know. I was just about to go home by the last train, and I overslept. When I woke up, I was already on board this train. Oh dear. You can't just randomly get into this train. This is a special train for someone unlike you. Yeah, I know. It's weird that I suddenly got here. It's not that weird, child. There is a way for a living being to ride this train. Huh? What are you talking about? That person. They have to be connected or got too close with the death. They have to be make a connection with death themselves. Are you telling me that I it wasn't a coincidence? There's no coincidences if we are talking about death. There is only fate. You were destined to ride this train because you in other way or in one way or another have touched death. It's alright if you don't want to talk about it. The fact that you are here with your life intact. It means death is giving you a chance. A chance? Why? Who knows? Maybe they love you. Or maybe they think you still have a purpose to fulfill in the land of the living. <laughs> Being loved by death? That's really something. It really is something, but also nothing at the same time. Death loves everyone. How else do you explain his devotion to the difficult job? of maintaining the life and death of every single creature on Earth. Way to ruin my moment of joy, old tree. You are special, but so does everyone else. I think you misunderstood the meaning of special. I still have much to learn, yes. How old are you, old tree? And why do you know so much about death? How old am I? Ho oh, ho ho, let's see. I can't remember when they first put my seed inside the earth, but the first time I tasted the sun the humans were at war. That doesn't say much. We were at war too many times. Yes, I can't remember the exact time, but the people from the west just arrived, and the original humans from the region were fighting against them. Oh, that was a pretty long time ago. Yes, it was. Is she talking about Homo sapiens? And, uh, uh, what was the Homo... What was the other one? Astrolopithecus? No. Was it? I forget the name of the... Uh, the previous human race. And to answer your question... How about how I know a little about death? You'll be surprised. By the amount of life conceived, born, and taken away under my branches. Yeah, but she couldn't be like millions years old, right? I, 
Anyways. Every time death visited me, we talked a bit. They are good friends with a lot of old trees like me. Do you have a lot of friends around your age? Not so much, sadly. Most of them won't even reach half my age. Be it because of war, or because the humans took their life away. Oh, I was one of the lucky ones, I guess. Oh, ho, ho. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be deaf. It's just a passageway to a better life. To the good place. You seem to be very sure that we're heading to a good place. Of course. I'm good friends with the deaf, remember? Not everyone goes to the good place, do they? Only good people deserve it. Ah, oh, you are a believer. Huh? It's not that. Oh, ho, ho. We are trees, child. We did not sin. And we're the most tormented yet very important souls on earth. No kind of divine rules would disqualify us from the better afterlife. We were born on earth to serve and suffer. And we can't do anything about it. Well, thanks for the swing. Oh, which hugs the tree. I'm sorry to hear that old tree. Oh, I'm sorry I keep calling you with no name. Do you mind? It's alright, kids. I've been calling you by so many names too. Pardon me for forgetting to ask. What is your name? My name is Vivi. Ah, oh, Vivi. What a beautiful name. It's so full of life. Both in words and its meaning. So tell me, Vivi. Once you leave this train, what will you do? Go home? And then sleep, I guess? To be honest, I haven't put much thought into it. Oh, ho, ho. You are not that different compared to us trees. Why? Try asking all the trees on board this train. What would they do if they were allowed to return? I assure you the answer would either be sleeping or photosynthesis. Huh, even trees have more purpose in life than me. Which is why I ask. You have so many potentials. Why not utilize it? It's not that easy. You are right. It is not easy. But everything worth doing never is. Hey, come on. I just got into this mess for a few hours. That's if time flows normally here. I won't just simply find a new life purpose in a few hours. Your journey tonight is not yet done, dear. What if, even after I returned, I still haven't found my purpose? Then make one. How? That is for you to decide. You have experienced a thing not so many people, not even gods, ever had. Tell them about your story however you like. Or do nothing. That is also alright. Hmm. Finding a new purpose sounds fun. I don't know if I can find them tonight. But I guess the night is young. The night is older than everything we know. But yes, the night is young. You really are an endless source of wisdom. Thank you. But I believe I have served my purpose with you, Vivi. Now go. Find your purpose. Or do nothing. The world is not in your hands. But your world is in your hands. Thank you, old tree. I wish you well for the rest of your journey. There is only a short journey left for me, but thank you, dear. Oh, that was really cool. Very wise. Oh, I can't even go this way? I guess not. Let's go back. 